Hey guys, today I am going to share a drugstore haul with you guys, but I really picked up some really good products that I did want to share with you, um, some of which I'm using on my face today, but, and sorry about the lighting in here, but just bear with me. So back to the drugstore product. First off, I was hearing so much about this product and I really wanted to try it for myself and they had it on this beautiful display at my Walgreens. So I picked it up in two colors, one in sand um, and the other in classic beige. And this is the Stay Matte from Rimmel, and it is a mousse foundation, and I actually tried this the day after I bought it and fell in love with it. So it does have shine control for um, those of you ladies who do have oily skin. I have drier combination skin, but it really it helped me as well. I really loved it. Um, but like I said, because of the packaging, I only I felt like it was going to be almost like a BB cream kind of, but I was really surprised. So. I, the first time I used it, I kind of put too much on. So like even this amount right here, if you like blend it out, it's like a lot. And like I had like put two big blobs to like dab my beauty sponge in, my beauty blender. And I was like, holy crap. It stayed on. I think I got probably about seven to eight hours out of it. Um, it does have, like I said, medium coverage. I really, really loved it. I one of my favorite products now. The other uh, foundation that I got was the True Blend in M6. This is the liquid foundation. It's the newest line from CoverGirl. So the difference between this foundation and like the Stay Matte, the Stay Matte has probably about six or seven, I don't know. They don't have a whole lot of colors for you to choose from, hence the reason why I got two, to kind of mix them together and make my perfect shade. However, the True Blend, like the display was so humongous. It was like this huge like arch of nothing but these foundations and it was almost overwhelming. They had like the lighter and the medium shades on one side and then like the darker shades on the other and it was just so much. So I had to kind of like try a whole bunch out. By the time I walked out of the store, I had swatches all up my arm. So it's per perfect, perfect. Girl, it's perfect beige, okay? That's what it is. Perfect beige and M6, but it actually gives really good coverage. And I was really shocked. It lasted for a while. This actually really did surprise me. Just like the Stay Matte, I got seven to eight hours out of it. By the time I came home, it was kind of faded a little bit, and like you could see spots. But that could just be me, because like I like lean on my face and I touch my face too much. This was another one that you could get for full pr one full price and then another half off. They have the foundations and the concealer sticks. Now the concealer sticks look like this. This. So, sorry. <laughs> Let me silence that because that's going to be annoying. Um, I did get one um, and this, they actually just had one shade of the concealer stick and then another for like the darker shades. So I got both of them, one for contouring and one for highlighting. Now I did actually see Carly Bible do this and I wanted to try it for myself and I really, really, really recommend it. It really worked. This is really good for contouring so I do it down my face. Like the, what I would do with my powder bronzer, I do with this and it really, really worked. Um, this concealer... I'm a little eerie about stick concealers because they kind of give me like a chalky feel, but this didn't do that. However, I wouldn't recommend this. It, it highlighted under my eyes, but I don't recommend it for, for like covering dark circles. It's good for like spot treatment for any places like blemishes that you want to cover up, but um, I just, because it, again, if you put too much of this underneath your eye, it's gonna kind of give you a chalky look. In my opinion, that's just kind of how it worked for me. So what I do is kind of put it in this line right here since that's where like the darkest point of your under eye is. And then I'll put another concealer over it and buff it out. But I would not use this concealer as just a concealer for under eye circles. On to the next foundation. I got the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup. And the reason that I got this is because I am looking for something that is going to last a long time for when I don't have time to go home and get ready. I'm going from work to an event. I wanted something that could um, do that for me. Now this actually has the 12 hour mark on it. So I was like, okay, it's long wear. 
I I like that the coverage is great and the color matched me perfectly like to the T I did not get 12 hours out of it probably like the others seven to eight it does have almost like a sheer um, thing going on like it, it's not as full coverage as I would have hoped it be to be since it is a 12 hour foundation I I was hoping that it was going to be more of a full coverage heavier foundation but it's not it's it is I don't even know where I don't even have room to swatch it this so here it is right here you see that? It's not as full coverage as I would have liked it to be. This would be good for me like in the spring or in the summer even when I don't really, I want the coverage but I don't want something so heavy that's going to clog my pores. So I kind of was disappointed that this was a 12 hour foundation and it does have tone correcting complex in it um, and it has SPF 20 in it which is great. So I do kind of recommend this for you know warmer weather when you don't feel like having a bunch of foundation on. On to the fun stuff. So we got the foundation out of the way. This is Maybelline's new line. It's called Master Glaze by Face Studio and it is, they are blushes. Aren't they cute? I just love these. They're so cute. So I got, this one is Make a Mauve. This is Pink Fever. Um, and they had so many colors to choose from. I love it. I can't even tell you any more about this. You need to go get the Master Glaze Girl. Like, that's all I'm saying. These are so cute. They're perfect. And they are definitely going with me on my trip to Vegas. <laughs> this is Revlon's new line of nail polishes. It's called Perfumery. It, the package actually was what caught my eye. And they are so cute. They have like the little round knob. And they literally look like little perfume bottles. This one is an Italian leather. And I just love like the, it's like a gray, grayish color, but it does have little specks of gold in it. And this one is Wild Violets, and it is the one that I have on my, my fingers right now. But it is like the dark plum purple that I love. It's perfect for this time of year. When you put it on, it's literally, it smells a floral scent to it. It's so, it smells so good. And I know that sounds so weird, but... I like painted my nails and I was like, what is that? Oh my, oh my God. So like now I even caught myself like at work and I was just like, I really recommend these and they're just adorable and I love them. I actually picked up Jordana's Fabu Brow and they look like this. One is taupe and the other is dark brown. So I actually use the dark like here and under and then go in with the lighter and do the top in the middle. I absolutely love these two. Um, they are by Jordana Cosmetics and I'm just completely in love. I definitely recommend picking up some Jordana. Another Jordana uh, cosmetic that I got and the reason why I got it is because Carly Bible has basically made this particular lip liner famous and if you guys watch her you know exactly which one I'm talking about and it is um, Tawny by Jordana. I like it because it is more of like a, a pinkish tone for when you want to go nude but not like nude nude. This really does add some dimension to your lips and makes you look well put together so I love this lip liner. Um, if you don't have it already go get it Tawny by Jordana. The next product that I got was Scandalize by Rimmel. Now this is waterproof, it's an eyeliner, and what caught my eye about this product is that it is a two-in-one. So it is a thick and a thin eyeliner because it has this slanted, can you see that? This slanted um, tip to it. Jeez, Nikki. Can, you could do a really wide eyeliner or you could do a really... You could turn it on its side and do a really thin one. I love the idea, um, but when I used it, it kind of seemed hard to maneuver because the tip is really hard and it's not as easy to kind of flick it for your for your wing. Um, it wasn't my favorite product. I could have gone without it. It just kind of didn't do it for me. So, I mean... It could work for some of you guys. I personally wasn't feeling it, but I definitely could have gone. I was kind of disappointed. 
this is from the same line. It, it is Rimmel. And they are from Scandalize, so you can see the packaging. I wanted to try a new mascara, and this is in Retro Glam, their line. And this obviously is going to be the blackest black. And it has this really big brush, which really got me excited about what it could do for my eyelashes. But I was disappointed with this product as well. I feel like the scandalized line kind of missed the mark. Um, because this brush is really big, which is great, but you know, like this is a brand new this is a brand new tube, okay? So even just touching it like this, do you see that? I'm not getting a whole lot of product. The brush itself is literally taking most of the mascara. I was really disappointed with the scandalized line from Rimmel because usually Rimmel is like my go-to. For this to be such a flop was kind of disappointing to me. That is it, my loves. I just wanted to share this with you and kind of give you the lowdown on some of the newer products in the drugstore. Like I said, I do like to get a lot of my cosmetics from my local drugstore because it is cheaper and I am really happy with a lot of the products that they come out with. So I hope you guys found this helpful. So I hope to see you guys soon and please hit that subscribe button below. Leave any comments, um, rate, let me know how you guys like these videos. If you guys want to see more drug hauls or, you know, product reviews. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon on my channel. Come back and I will see you guys next week. Bye.